if you want to study Pan Amsterdam, it seems like he was this dude that washed up at sea that Iggy Pop found. He was escaping a jazz cruise. He got tired of the neo soul and jazz that was being played on that cruise. He was only the trumpet player in the back. You could barely see this guy. It was a big smoke screen. Couldn't take the cough anymore. Jump ship. And shall I not have scorn? Hence, jazz musician died. Pan Am was born. The rock star said life is ours and we live it our way. My response All right, well, my name's Leron Thomas, AKA Pan Amsterdam. I'm a jazz musician, but I started to branch off in other styles. Well, I'm from Houston originally. I ended up going to New York at about 19 years old. Started studying jazz. Studied under people like Billy Harper, Charles Tolliver, a little bit under Winton as well. And uh, over time, I just started realizing that I was kind of cut from a different stone a little bit. Wanted to venture more off into what else was going on out there musically and artistically. And make room for us, the less experienced, because we could be idiots that are optimistic. We wouldn't know the difference. Rebels and conformists, it's all the same. Well, the way I came to recording the record is through Malik Crumpler from Madison, Washington. And he hooked me up with his beat maker, which is Scott, that man Monks. Scott did a really good job of giving me some beats that I didn't know what to do with. I mean, he gave me these beats and I was like, yo, this is 90s vintage. What the hell? But then I listened to him closer. I realized I could flip it. I started playing with this character that was extra New York, because that's how I came up with Van Amsterdam, with this accent that sounds like it's from Jersey or it sounds like it's from Brooklyn. Can't tell if my accent is from Brooklyn or Jersey. I kept going, kept they going. I was yeah. like, you know, I walk with the rats, so I sleep with the who said that. Give him a Kit Kat. Red beans and rice had a fight with cornbread. It just started working and started working and started working, and two hours later, I had plus one. Put me down plus one. Def Press A came about when Matt heard my music through Malik, and then he also heard it through Scott. And then, of course, Iggy Pop was already playing it on BBC Six. I got soul like Korea. Chick ain't got nothing on me. He ain't sobbing, he sings. Like Chris Bodie next to Sting, multiple orgasms in the castle. And so me and Matt got to talking and realized that we could probably make an album out of this plus one, and that's what happened. This is a kung fu thing. This is Pai Mei. This is a style. You know what I'm saying? I would describe Pocket Watch as fashionably late. It's not trying to be any type of, you know, mumble rap or trap of today. It's just trying to be its own thing. Wish you use a little bit taller in a baller, but your girl look good. So I called her. What's next for uh, Pan Amsterdam? Well, I think skydiving or skinny dipping. But we're definitely gonna do a mohawk with dreads in tribute to living color. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. What's next for Pan Am is gonna be Iggy Pop, where we have a collab. We also have a collab with Open Mike Eagle. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, Pan Am is branching out. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> yeah, that was a one taker. <laughs>